we're here for the campaign for show racism the red card, and you know it's uh, it's it's good of this campaign, you know, because it's it's important for people to be uh, educated in this in the subject, and we're here just trying to spread the message that uh, it's not tolerable, and we're trying to get out of a society, but for today out of football. Oh, it's massively important. Um, I think as a club, Watford do a lot in the community to sort of help at these sort of events, and obviously it's really important to educate all the kids and all of the sort of public about racism because it's a big thing in football at the moment and it's really important that we stamp it out and things like this will help educate people so that we can do that. I think um, over the last 20 years, I think there's been um, the utmost work being done. Um, very good work as well of um, education, awareness to it. Uh, when I first started, it was it was very blatant. You know, it was in your face um, on almost a weekly basis. Some worse than others, but now it's <clears throat> it's a little bit more hidden. It's a bit more um, people think about it more. There's more people standing up to these people that are, are racist. So um, you know, it's come a long way. It's come a very long, long, long way. Um, there's still a way to go. But um, it's come a long way and I think that uh, the campaign is, is, is really a good thing. Racism today is nothing compared to what it was 20 years ago. Because believe me then, there was none of this. Nobody was addressing it at all. Nobody was addressing those problems. Oh uh, yeah, it's good. It gets more kids involved knowing that their star players are turned up to each things like this. So it's good to see them all. Yeah, definitely, you know, I think everything stems from a good educational background, you know, there was no uh, what's wrong and right, and, you know, obviously with the lessons that have been given out by their teachers, by their family, you know, if, if you if you get it into their brain, you know, when they're young, they'll grow up with those principles, and it will just uh, be good for the whole world in general. Yeah, so the questions were quite tricky, um, they really make you think, but... It's good, it's good. Um, some of the, yeah, we were quite surprised at some of the questions because we thought <laughs> Molly was saying when we were kids none of us could think of questions like that. So yeah, it's good to have tricky questions, I think. Yeah, it's good. It's good that a lot of kids have some really clever questions. You know, some questions that you don't really hear from kids. So it's really good that they're thinking about it and they're aware of it. And um, they're the kids that are, they're the ones that are going to be in the stands, are going to be on the pitch for the future. So if they've got the education from a young age and they've got a good message, then I suppose it's, 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 we're going down the wrong way, the right way.